Hi, today is January 23rd, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 123 for the year, Norman Jewison. I had always assumed that Jewison was Jewish. According to Jewison, United Artists also thought he was Jewish when they asked him to direct Fiddler on the Roof. Decades later, Warner Brothers asked Jewison to direct Malcolm X. But not only was Jewison not Jewish, he wasn't black either. After Spike Lee pointed this out, he got to make the film instead, and it was a great one. Norman Jewison also made In the Heat of the Night, which should not have won the Best Picture Oscar that year over Bonnie and Clyde or The Graduate. He also made The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming, Jesus Christ Superstar, Moonstruck, The Thomas Crown Affair, The Cincinnati Kid, Rollerball, and And Justice for All. And those are just the ones I've seen. Norman Jewison, who died last Saturday, may be my favorite Methodist film director, but I'd have to do some research in order to say for sure. Poem number 124, Being Behind. Today I learned that the Amira, that the Amara people who live in the Andean Highlands don't think of the future as lying ahead. Instead, they see it as being behind them because they can't see it yet. Which made me wonder, do they believe they are walking backwards into the future, or that they are stationary and the future is catching up with them? I'd have to do some research in order to say for sure. Poem number 125, Mary Weiss. I don't know the Shangri-Las all that well, but I know that Mary Weiss, who died last Friday, sang the shit out of Leader of the Pack. I'm kind of a shy person, she once said, but I felt that the recording studio was the place that you could really release what you're feeling without everybody looking at you. You certainly did, Mary Weiss. You really released on Leader of the Pack, and in so doing, you helped set me and many, many others free. Poem number 126, Remember the Dead. Maybe today I'll listen to Leader of the Pack and some other songs by the Shangri-Las and then watch The Hurricane or Fist or some other Norman Jewison film I haven't seen. But I've got laundry to do and I'm meeting a friend for lunch and I still have one more poem to write and I probably ought to do some other things too before they pile up too much. So maybe I will have to remember the dead some other time. And last poem of the day, poem number 127, Remembering the Dead. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Poem number 127, the last poem of the day, Remembering the Dead. I want to spend some time today remembering the dead corporations that are no longer with us. American law treats the corporation as a person, but when they die, they don't get funerals. So let me remember Borders Books and Blockbuster Video, both of which I patronized back in the day, F.W. Woolworth, whose building still stands and was the tallest building in the world 100 years ago, Pan Am, whose building is now the MetLife building, Circuit City, Crazy Eddie, J&R Music World. I was going to say Kodak, but apparently it's not yet dead. Perhaps I'll have something to say about Kodak tomorrow. But today is a day for remembering the dead corporations. May they rest in power. May they rest in peace. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you.